Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to discuss a really easy way to calculate if uh, your two values are within the limits of experimental accuracy. Now, I, I also explained this in the previous video. Now, some people were confused in the previous video. I wrote the, uh, in, the, in my pinned comment that this is how you should do it and people were confused. So here is a very simple and easy way if you want to know two values are within the limits of experimental accuracy. Now, according to the marking scheme, Two values are equal within the limits of experimental accuracy if they are within 10% of each other. Now this means, for example, if you did an experiment and you got your value as 2.5, then you repeated your experiment, but this time you're getting 2.67 centimeters. So does that mean, are these values equal or not? They, so they are saying it is equal, these two values are equal if they are within 10% of each other. The percentage difference is simply going to be the difference between both of these values divided by the average of these two values, okay? So it's going to be 2.67 minus 2.5, the difference, divided by the average. So remember, average is 2.67 plus 2.5 divided by 2. That's how you find average, right? So this is difference divided by average. And then you have to multiply this by 100 to get the percentage difference. So here the answer is going to be 6.5. 5.8%. Since this is less than 10%, we can say yes, these um, these values, these two values are equal because they are within 10% of each other. Let's look at an example from the past paper. So here you had an, an, an experiment where you calculated the focal length f. So 15.6 and 14.9 were your two values. You have to say whether or not are they equal within the limits of experimental accuracy. So let's see um, what we're getting. So this is going to be 15.6 minus 14.9 divided by average just add them and divide divide them by 2 and multiply this by 100 this is going to be 4.59 percentage so you will say yes they are um yes they are because 15.6 and 14.9 are within 10 percent of each other and then you will show your calculation which is, which is this one this is the answer in the marking scheme, yes, because your justification is your calculation with reference to values be, uh, being within 10% of each other. If you have any paper 6 related question, make sure to comment down below.